Welcome back, fellow gardeners. In this video we will discuss what you need to do for a massive broccoli harvest. So, if you're ready to take your gardening game to the next level, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. 1. Selecting the right variety. Choose a broccoli variety that suits your climate and growing conditions. Look for varieties known for high yields, such as, Bell Star, Green Magic, or, Gypsy. Consider the maturity period of the variety. Some broccoli varieties mature faster than others, allowing for earlier harvests and potentially higher yields. 2. Preparing the soil. Broccoli thrives in well-draining soil that is rich in organic matter. Start by clearing the planting area of weeds, rocks, and debris. Use a garden fork or tiller to loosen the soil to a depth of about 12 inches. This improves aeration and drainage. Incorporate organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure into the soil. This adds nutrients and enhances soil structure. Test the soil pH using a soil testing kit. Broccoli prefers slightly acidic to neutral soil, with a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. If the pH is too low or high, you can adjust it by adding lime to raise the pH or elemental sulfur to lower it. 3. Starting seeds indoors. If you have a short growing season, starting broccoli seeds indoors 6 to 8 weeks before the last frost date can give you a head start. Fill seed trays or small pots with seed starting mix. Moisten the mix before sowing the seeds. Plant the seeds about 1 quarter inch deep and cover them lightly with the mix. Space the seeds about 2 inches apart. Place the trays or pots in a warm location with sufficient light, such as near a sunny window or under grow lights. Keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Germination usually takes 5 to 10 days. Once the seedlings have developed a few true leaves and the danger of frost has passed, they can be transplanted outdoors. 4. Transplanting seedlings. Choose a sunny location in your garden for transplanting the seedlings. Broccoli requires at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight daily. Harden off the seedlings by gradually exposing them to outdoor conditions over a period of 7 to 10 days. Start by placing them outdoors in a sheltered spot for a few hours each day, gradually increasing the exposure. Dig holes in the prepared garden bed, spaced about 18 to 24 inches apart. The holes should be deep enough to accommodate the seedlings' root systems. Gently remove the seedlings from their containers, taking care not to damage the roots. If the seedlings are growing closely together, separate them carefully. Place the seedlings in the holes and backfill with soil, ensuring that the crown, where the stem meets the roots, is level with the soil surface. Press the soil gently around the base of the seedlings to secure them in place. Water the seedlings immediately after transplanting to help them establish in their new environment. 5. Providing adequate care. Water the broccoli plants consistently to keep the soil evenly moist. Broccoli requires about 1 to 1.5 inches of water per week. Adjust watering frequency based on rainfall and weather conditions. Apply a layer of organic mulch around the plants to help retain moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate soil temperature. Mulching also prevents soil splashing onto the plants, which can help reduce the risk of disease. Fertilize the plants regularly to provide them with the necessary nutrients for optimal growth. Use a balanced vegetable fertilizer or apply compost tea every three to four weeks. Follow the instructions on the fertilizer packaging for application rates. Monitor the plants regularly for common pests such as aphids, cabbage worms, or slugs. Inspect the undersides of leaves for eggs or larvae. If pests are present, use appropriate organic pest control methods such as handpicking, applying insecticidal soap, or using biological controls like ladybugs or parasitic wasps. 6. Managing Heads and Harvesting As the broccoli plants grow, you will notice a central head forming. This is the main head, which should be harvested before the buds start to open. The timing of central head harvest depends on the variety, but it's usually when the head reaches a diameter of about 4 to 7 inches and is still compact and firm. Use a sharp knife or garden shears to cut the central head about 6 inches below the head, taking care not to damage the surrounding leaves or other developing side shoots. 
After removing the central head, smaller side shoots, called broccoli florets, will develop from the leaf axils along the stem. Teas can be harvested as they reach a suitable size, typically around 2 to 4 inches in diameter. Harvest the side shoots by cutting them with a sharp knife or garden shears, leaving about 6 inches of stem attached to the plant. Regular harvesting of the side shoots encourages the development of new shoots, leading to a continuous harvest over several weeks. Well, there you have it, fellow gardeners. A guide about growing broccoli for a massive harvest. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more gardening tips and tricks. Happy gardening!